are you one of those people who've typed in a comment asking what type of pen are you using or have you thought of doing it I've got to say when I first began to post videos I was really surprised at how many people ask me so consistently what pens are you using what brand do you recommend I suppose it surprised me because I'd never thought too much about the brands before but all the asking certainly got me thinking what is the impact of the pens I use and I'm sure it's the same if it's pencils but maybe not to the same degree here are my thoughts on the best brands for us to use for all the art supplies that are to do with our drawing or whatever we do and I think the underlying assumption in the questions really is are the expensive brands worth it do you get somehow some sort of advantage or help along with materials that you pay more for and let's face it that's an understandable thing to be wanting to know because we do want to give our own drawings every chance we can afford to give them but equally art supplies can be expensive from my own experience for me the clear winner in that question is the best brand to buy is the brand you can afford to waste and also the brand you can buy can actually get physically get easily and quickly but I realized when I first started with my art that I was more concerned with not wasting my art materials than with actually being able to explore the joys the pros and cons of the oil paints that I was using the brushes I was using the canvases I was using I would sometimes buy expensive things and then be afraid to use them and I've certainly learned that is not a helpful mindset for any artistic or probably any creative endeavor that we're actually wanting to do and progressing and I soon realized that the freedom I had with the really cheap stuff I had because I didn't care about whether I used it up or not so therefore I could always use it that it was with those materials that I was learning the most because I could be free I could mix up more paint than I thought I needed which always encouraged more painting and so forth and it's the same with the paper I was using when I was preoccupied at the cost of buying heavier thicker paper I was afraid to use it or paper that was bound into a nice book I was afraid to use it in case I wasted it so with this way of thinking the best brand to use is the one that's affordable enough for me that I can use it without any regard for its cost without any regard to thinking I might be wasting it somehow but there's another significant way of thinking I believe for deciding what brand of pen I should use and please if you're finding this helpful why not hit the like button and help me along as well I think it's that when we think about brands to realize that different pens are constructed in different ways and therefore how the marks they make on our paper or whatever surface we work with changes various brands of pens are not all the same construction the same engineering as each other the materials are different the types of nibs on them are different the sort of ink that's in them is different and therefore their adaptability to different styles of drawing is all different one pen is going to work really well for one type of drawing a different pen will actually work far better for that type of drawing and I think it is helpful to play around with pens and to appreciate as we play around with them that some of them will better suit our type of drawing than others and we'll probably become aware of that simply because we feel that oh this brand of pen somehow produces better drawings it doesn't produce better drawings it's just a better match for the effect I'm trying to create in my drawing now once I start to become aware of this that gives me some focus as to well this may be the best brand to use and the answer certainly need not relate to the expense of that particular brand can I also add here that certainly very comfortably well within the beginner and, and intermediate stage of drawing I actually don't believe the brand of material that we use or the quality of it really makes much difference at all to how the drawing looks I think we've got to have become fairly advanced in our skills where the I think relatively minor differences that materials make 
starts to really make a noticeable difference in what we draw. I think it's different in painting because I found in terms of say oil paint, a huge difference in the quality and my ability to use that paint effectively and for what it could do on the canvas. If it was an expensive paint with a lot of pigment in it as compared to a cheaper price paint, say a student brand paint, that had a lot of fillers and artificial colouring, if you like, in it as well. But with drawing, I don't think it's nearly as important. The paper possibly is more important than the pen. So when you're in the experimental stage, make sure you experiment with the paper. And can I say, different papers will work better with different pens as well. And so it's a bit of a juggle to work out the best combination of paper and pen for what we're trying to do. And now the other thing that I think is more important than what brand I use, and that's consistency within a brand. And particularly if I'm in the beginning or earlier stages of my drawing journey, I think it's even more important to, once we find a brand that we think we can afford, that seems to deliver the results we want, to buy within that brand or even within that series of pen within that brand. Because every pen feels different. And even if we use pens where, say, they're both ballpoint tips or they're both compressed felt tips or whatever, the, the effect, the look of the line on the paper is going to be different. And that's because the line on the paper is different because of the differences between the two pens. When we use the one brand over and over again, we get to discover the, the strengths and if necessary weaknesses of that brand. And so when we draw and we end up calling on our pen to create certain effects, we have a strong sense of what this pen can and can't do or can and can't do well. That lets us use it as effectively as it can be used. And it's not just what the pen's capable of doing and how that reflects on our style. It's also how the pen feels. All pens balance differently. Some are thicker and heavier, some are thinner and finer, some of them are longer barreled than others. Some of them, when you put the nib on the top, it changes the whole feel of the pen and the weighting of the pen, where its center of gravity and therefore how exactly it connects with the paper, with pressure and therefore ink flow and all these things. Now they, they might sound so insignificant as to feel like they're not important, but trust me, they are. As we draw with the one brand, whether we're aware of it or not, we start to perceive the possibilities and the things that change the effectiveness of this pen. We actually learn to anticipate quite subtle nuances in the way it makes marks and the effects that can be created. And what I have to do as the artist to, to actually use that or take best advantage of that and so forth. If I'm constantly changing pens, then all of these more subtle nuances with my pen are lost because I never quite can remember what pen's going to do what. And even how the pen feels in my hand changes from brand to brand. And so my larger arm movement, where the weight of the pen and how it feels is a significant part of how we draw, can't fall into a rhythm and understanding as easily because we keep changing the parameters. So what brand of art products should we use? Generally, I think what I'm saying is, it's not really as an important topic as we think it is when we start drawing. And if we want to think about it at all, we should simply be thinking about what can we afford to use generously, lavishly, as we explore the possibilities of our art. But that whatever brand we end up choosing for those reasons, we end up staying basically within that brand for consistency in how our materials operate, the sorts of things we can create with them, and therefore the effectiveness of what I'm able to be able to learn to create with them. And this doesn't just create better drawings, it actually fast tracks my learning because I don't have to struggle with the ambiguity and the chopping and changing of different brands and different types of pens and the way they feel and the look of the ink on the paper and so forth. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. Look, I hope these few brief thoughts have been helpful. I certainly don't mind people asking me what brand I use, but let's bear in mind, it may not necessarily be the best brand for where someone else is at in their drawing 
and the place that they want to get to stylistically in the sorts of marks and lines they make. But hey, whatever pens you use and however you use them, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.